Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna try the dish strainer. And I have white mixed up, blue, red, and yellow. This is Brilliant Yellow from Artist Loft. The red is Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And then I have Primary Blue from Liquitex Basics. And Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white. So, and I mixed it with some Floetrol and a little bit of Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And then I actually put a little bit of um, water in these because they were pretty thick and I wanted them to mix a little bit more. So I'm debating on if I want to make a cup and pour the cup in there or if I want to pour them in by themselves. So let me grab another canvas let's try that let's do this and i'll show you guys how i do the canvases or what i do for um on the back of the canvas if your canvas doesn't sound like a drum it sounds loose you can take a water bottle and spritz the back just spritz it like this and get it wet and let it air dry I like to air dry it like that and then it's gonna sound more like a drum in a second and then I just take little push pins I have some jumbo ones and then I have these little ones too and um, I'm just working on these 8 by 10s which I bought for our family paint night and I'm gonna have to go buy some more because <laughs> I'm using them up doing some experiments so one of these, we're just going to pour these in there and another one, we're going to make a cup and pour, pour the cup in there and see what the different, what different effects we get. So can you hear? Sounded more like a drum. So that tightens up your canvas a little bit. So, okay, let me move. I just did another video. <clears throat> And I'll put that on my channel for you guys to see too, but experimenting with something else, pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna set this in the middle. This one we're gonna go ahead and do just pouring these paints in. So we'll start off with white. And we'll just fill her up with white. And then We'll do some blue. It's starting to come out of the bottom. Do some blue. Do some red. I'm not sure if this is still too thick or not. And some yellow. I'm trying to avoid it getting up in that center hole. I want it to flow out of those other holes first. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Can you guys see it's coming out underneath there? And if it's not flowing fast enough, you can lift it up a little bit I'm thinking okay let's put a little bit more let's do a little bit more blue a little bit more blue a little bit more red do a little bit more white And a tiny bit more yellow. Still kind of not. Like the paint doesn't want to come out. That looks really cool, actually. Let's see. 
I don't know if that's enough paint. Let's put some, I'm gonna put some flow extender around it so we can get this to flow. Okay. Let's see if we can get this a move in. I'm gonna try to keep it in a circle, sort of. Might not have put enough paint on there. Trying to get that, the flow extender paint off because it's way thinner than the paint that I used in the cups. I figured it would just help it kind of flow, but it's like mixing. <laughs> oh, no, I went too far. It's all right. It'll still give us a cool like effect. definitely need to practice this one kind of see what the paint's gonna do get that stuff covered and let's go this way turn it around and we'll go this way it's kind of cool it looks very busy but it's kind of neat Okay, don't put a flow extender that's thinner than the paints you're using on there because it just kind of messed it up. Okay, let's go this way and get those sides covered very good. It's okay. I can get them covered in a minute. Let's go down. Get, these, get it over the sides. If you have to, you could dab like this and it helps the paint flow. Helps it grab onto the canvas a little bit. We'll come back this way. Get this weight of the paint back in the center. I definitely got more colors out of this one than the last one I did. But that yellow sure does like to take over. And I figured since I was using primary colors, that they would mix and I would get some greens and some purples and some oranges. But it doesn't seem like I am. I'm gonna go this way. Oops, didn't mean to get my canvas in there. In the runoff down there. I was trying to get it to flow over right here. So we can get the sides covered. Okay, it's gonna bring it back down. Cause it really stretched out the sides over here. I probably didn't have enough paint. So definitely do more so that you have enough paint. I'm just gonna pick up some of this stuff off the side so I can get the sides covered. No biggie where the sides didn't get covered. Like so. This side's all covered. Get this covered. Ooh, that's really neat. I like that right there. The like band. I still have not found a technique that I like better than the Dutch pour. I just, I love the Dutch pour. I think they turn out so beautiful. I like these kind of pours because you don't know what you're going to get. So that's kind of cool, but so let me bring it up. Looks like a psychedelic mess, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Definitely not what I thought it was going to be. So this time, oops, 
I'm setting that right under my tripod. So hopefully I don't have an accident. Okay, this one we are going to put, oh, why is it so much prettier on there? We are going to do a cup. We're going to do a cup. So I'm going to do a little bit of white. We'll go yellow. We'll go red. I'm going to do it from kind of high up. It's telling me I got a low battery. Okay, so we're going to go from kind of high up. So we get them nice and mixed because I want a variety this time. Yellow. Some yellow, some red. Get some different. Get it all nice and mixed up in there. I'm going to use up all this paint on this one. Didn't mean to spill it. It's okay. So all the blue. All the red. Okay. And the rest of the yellow. Lots of yellow. My yellow paint was a lot thicker than my red and blue for some reason. So I had to thin that out more than the other one. Okay, we're going to go high up with the white. And kind of mix that in there. Okay. I'm going to wipe those off. Ooh, that was pretty. Then I'm going to set this here. It still has some paint from the last time, but that's okay. And we are just going to start pouring this in here. And we'll see how it turns out this time. Now we're getting some mixes of color. And this actually has holes on the sides too so see that time we got some different colors some little bits of purple I'm going to make sure my sides are covered or my corners are covered so I'll just use what's in the cup left in the cup and just kind of make sure these corners have some paint on them. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see how this one turns out. I'm going to kind of start moving that around. I don't know, maybe I should have watched some videos on how to do the strainer pour before I did it. Because it definitely doesn't look like everybody else's that I have seen. Okay. Let's start moving this around. Maybe I shouldn't have done so much white. Kind of muddied the colors. Hmm. I wonder why the colors got like that. Especially being primary colors, they shouldn't have got muddy. Everything kind of turned gray. That is not cool. Okay, so maybe the dirty pour cup is not the way to go with the strainer. That's why I wanted to experiment and see what the best way was to do it. And apparently this was not 
the best way to do it. It's just really strange to me that it got muddy. Because all those colors should have mixed and made other colors instead of mud. Mm. Yeah, I probably won't be keeping this. I will probably scrape this. And pour over it or something. Mm. I don't know. I don't like it. Let's torch it. And pop the bubbles. I didn't torch that last one either. I need to do to make sure there's no bubbles. Okay. Yeah, this one muddied up on me. Hmm. I wonder why. But let's get the weight of the paint into the center. It does kind of have a cool little design right there. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of... I don't like it, but there's some really neat little things going on in it. Maybe I'll try to balloon roll it or sponge it or do something to it because it did not work out. That is so cool. Like, look at in the strainer. Really pretty colors. And the stuff it's leaving behind on my table is pretty. It's not what it left on the canvas for some reason. <laughs> but it is some pretty neat colors left on there. That's just, hmm, just strange. Like, see, I got some green and some purple. But I don't know what mix that gave me this grayish green color. Maybe I thinned them out too much. I don't know. Oh, that's so pretty right there. I kind of want to stretch that out. Let's stretch it out and see if we can get that to pop up some more. Huh. Well, guys, this one was a fail. The second one. The, like, dirty cup pour. Maybe if I would have done a clean pour or... A straight pour out of it I could always do like a vinyl saying and put it over it like if you have a, like if you guys have a Cricut machine or you know how to do vinyl and stuff or embellishments you can use this as just a background if you have a pour that you don't like you can let this dry and then you can put a vinyl saying over it and you know bring it to life doing that or put some embellishments on it or, you know, you don't always have to scrape it if you don't like it. There are other things you can do to um, bring life back to the painting. Let's see. Yeah, it's so strange to me. I don't know why. That's very weird that that happened. Hmm. Very strange. I'll have to figure out why. I'll have to think about it. Unless you know why that happened. And then you can comment that down below for me. But, for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep this just like it is. My battery's dying, so I need to charge my phone anyhow. So, I'll bring this up for a close-up so you guys can see. It's got some cool little things going on. Just the color is like blah. But 
some neat little things. I'm going to have to practice this strainer strainer trick. It's the first time I ever did it, so I didn't expect it to come out spectacular, you know. So there's that one. And then here's the first one I did that we just poured the colors in the strainer. Which this don't look like the strainer things either. So I'm going to have to watch some videos and learn how to mix my paint to make sure that the paint's the right consistency. And then maybe we can try it again. So live and learn, right? All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. And if you guys have done this and you have any tips or tricks for me, leave them down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to get notified of my future videos, click that little bell notification. And thanks for hanging out with me. Love you guys.